You can be inventive. There's no particular way to do it. We don't have any instructions on it. <laughs> Just use your imaginations and make it as pretty as you can. Out on the high plains, in Shattuck, the biggest claim to fame has got to be the wind. And at this time of year, when the winter wind picks up, it blows through windmills dressed for Christmas. The, the plan is to start at the top and wind up with the plug-in at the bottom. Now, how, <laughs> that's the plan. The plan first took shape last year when folks here decided their windmill park ought to be fancied up for the season. They managed to cover maybe eight mills before they ran out of lights. That blue one over there doesn't look like it's working, is it, or is it? Yeah, it's working. Oh, is it? Some of them are hard to tell. So this year, like so many other families across sure? Oklahoma, the they've I'm pulled out the light you. strings, laid them working? straight, no. and searched for burned out bulbs. Oh, that Those are dead ones. Yeah, this one's really dead. Yeah, it's working. I can feel the heat. Okay. It's some southern ingenuity here. May have a fuse blowed or we don't have a good connection somewhere. They've strung extension cords and faced the dilemma of two plugs and one outlet. Had too many cords and not enough openings. It looks like we're going to get the mystery solved here directly. These are cheap ties. And they've climbed and clung and cajoled their way along and up and down their collection of restored mills. They are all volunteers, and there's never enough of them. Hey, come here. Don't honk, stop. We'll put you to work. This job, yeah. this is called encourager. I'm down here encouraging them because they're up there doing the hard work. And it is hard work if you've never wrapped a windmill in lights. They don't boast of a million or two twinkling bulbs here. No, unless someone buys another string, they'll just have to stop when the box runs empty or the bad bulbs outnumber the good. As, as the time goes by, we acquire more lights, and eventually maybe we'll get lights on all of them. <laughs> so don't make the drive if your light display needs to be blindingly gargantuan. But some evening, if you'd like to feel Christmas in your face as it blows in from Texas and watch the wheels set it to motion, then pause for just a while. At about the time the last bit of sunlight is squeezed from the western sky and another long winter night descends on the flatlands, there's first one spark and then another, and suddenly a field of giants stands aglow to welcome Christmas on the high plains. <laughs>